Hey guys. So I am what they called a parentified child. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on this, but it's something that my counselor has thrown around. Um, and I know how it feels to be a parentified child, but I don't really know how to explain it. So maybe I'll look that up and, and give that information to you guys um, later or talk about it more. But I'm really struggling with the fact that my brother is an alcoholic. Something happened with my sister yesterday. If you guys aren't following this channel, if you haven't seen it, my little sister saw my brother blown out of his mind on, you know, drunk driving. And um, so I talked to my dad this morning for Father's Day to wish him happy Father's Day. And the first thing out of his mouth is, oh, your brother's doing great. And I say, well, that's not what I heard because my sister had told me that, you know, he was blasted. And my dad says, oh, no, 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 that's not accurate. He was just mad because he left his cell phone at his place. First of all, that doesn't even make sense at all. He was going to the grocery store. Um, which is a mile away from his house. So why would he need his phone for that? Um, and even so, why would that make him go off on my little sister and, and scream and yell at her and act the way that he acted? Like, like I'm sorry, but if somebody knows how to spot someone who's drunk, it's an 18 year old. Um, <laughs> but it's just like that denial keeps happening. And, and so it's hard for me because I grew up with my two younger brothers. I was the oldest. I was always basically responsible for them because of the situation that I grew up in. Um, not all the time, you know, their par our parents paid for our food and clothing and, and everything, but but my biological mother was, was so out of her mind that, you know, she, there were moments where she was there, but um, a lot of the time I was spent looking after my brothers. And um, I don't remember a lot of it, but my little brother, he always, he always tries to, tries to remind me like, you know, hey, don't you remember mom and dad had that really crazy fight and you were holding me while I was crying in the room, trying to help me feel better. And it's like, I don't remember that, but <clears throat> I know how much responsibility I had at that time. And I have let go of that, but like I'm an adult, you know, like I left home and moved out on my own at like 19. And so when I did that, I left my younger brother and he was like 14 at the time. Um, but he had been without for so long. Um, and you know, I went on and lived my life and, you know, and he, my little brother's been very absent in my life. He's like the most amazing person. He's so loving and he's so caring and he has the biggest heart, but we don't get to see him anymore because he's been drunk for years. Um, and my parents, they don't do enough. They're not doing their best. They are not. They can keep telling themselves that they're doing their best, but they are not. Um, You know, you can go to Google, how do I help an alcoholic? You know, there's there's things that you can do. It's not like I get so mad when people say, oh, they have to hit rock bottom, they have to hit rock bottom. Well, the way I look at it is if I trip and fall and somebody comes by and says, hey, do you want help up? And I say, no, I'm gonna get up myself. And I'm the person that's offering help, I'm gonna say, okay, they don't want my help right now. I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes and see if they need help. And I'm going to keep coming back and keep coming back until they either get off the ground themselves or let me help them up. But I'm not going to stop trying because that's that's what I needed and I didn't have it. And that's what I think everyone needs. And I think that's what people should do. I don't think they should give up on someone. I think they should keep trying. I think if it's becoming a danger in your life or something that's harming you, then yes, I think you have to do what you have to do to help yourself. But if someone that you love is suffering, when they're in this state, that's when they need their family the most. Um, and I don't know why when 
I mean, I know, I know with my dad, it's because my dad's mom died when he was eight years old and she died of alcoholism and he feels a great void because he missed out on having his mother, but his grandmother raised him and she gave him an incredible life. And, but he still talks about what great pain he has from losing his mother. So I'm assuming that's why he has done such a shitty job at dealing with my brother, but he's literally like, this is like gone on so long. He's lost decades of his life at this point to alcohol. And I've lost all those years with him because he's not present in my life when he's wasted. He won't call me back. He doesn't want to talk to me. And anytime he's not working, he's getting wasted. And it's a medical problem. There are things that you can do to help it. There are detox programs. There are pills that you can take to help you detox. There are things that can be done, but first you have to get someone to agree to get help. And if you're not constantly asking them, if you don't keep trying, how do you expect that? Do you, do you just like, it annoys me when my dad says, oh, well, just, just pray about it. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore this problem and pretend like it's going to fix itself because I believe in a higher power that's going to fix it for me. I think that faith in a higher power is amazing, but I think that you cannot rely on something outside of this world to fix something that is in front of you, especially if you're not even trying to fix it yourself. And I don't, it's not that I think like, it's, it's not that I think it's like any, I know I'm fucking rambling now, but it's like, it's not that I think that it's my job to fix my brother. It's not that I think it's my job to fix my parents. It's that it's my job to not give up on him. And I don't know how to do that. And I need their help. If I'm the only one over here saying, Hey, you know, you're drunk all the time. You're missing your family. You're missing your life. Like wake up. You're on a downward spiral. He could just not call me back. And because he already doesn't, I've already brought it up to him. I've already told him, but yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. Anyways, I rambled on too much. So, um, that's what's going on. So I started writing a song about it. So I don't know, maybe that will help if help me anyways. Um, you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.